Hi guys, so obviously this is a declutter video. It's Foundation Friday, so I thought it would be fitting to do a foundation declutter. Now these are all my liquid foundations. I do have some powder foundations that I think we'll go through and I'll do powder and stick foundations together. So these are my liquid. I thought about something, me and y'all know, I, um, I talk almost every week to my girl, CJ, and she just did her top five foundations for oily skin from the drugstore, and I will link her link down below so you guys can check it out. But I wanted to come and, uh, I forgot one. I wanted to come and do some decluttering through, I love these foundations, but some of these are not my correct shade, whether it's the fall or winter. Some of them I actually have to mix. And because mostly at the drugstore, the high end, I really don't. I do have a few that I am going to declutter. So let's just get straight into this video. Any foundation reviews, I am going to link my foundation playlist. So if you guys are an NC42, NC44, I do have dry, normal to dry skin, more normal than dry, um, more dry in the winter months. You can go and check that playlist out. But let's get straight into this video and we're going to start off with drugstore <clears throat> so before we start off with drugstore these are two new foundations now i have um i have a haul coming up and i do have foundations in there so obviously i'm not going to be decluttering those but these i actually got both of these i believe from a event this is the born this way and this is the smashbox studio skin both of these are in my perfect shade I am in Honey in the Born This Way and I am in 3.2 in the Smashbox. So just so for reference, if you are thinking about getting, you know, these two high end, you'll know what shade. So I'm going to put these over to the side, you'll know what shade. So I'm going to put these over to the side and go ahead and move to my drugstore. These are my drugstore foundations. And I can tell you right now that this e.l.f. one is too dark. Um, <clears throat> this is in the shade almond, but this is the old formula. I think they've reformulated. I really do like this foundation. Now, granted, it might be uh, my shade in the summer, but um, this is an old foundation. So I'm actually going to toss this one because I did smell it and I did not like the smell. I don't think it's supposed to smell like that. So I'm actually going to toss this one because... I've had this for quite a while. So this is old. I will try and see if the new formulation will work for me. Okay, so this is the Revlon Color Stay. This is the, I've tried this one. This is in the combination oily. This is in Golden Caramel. Um, my shade, this is um, a bit light for me. So I usually end up having to mix it. But this is, um, uh, it's a little bit drying. So I'm actually going to declutter this one too. And I'm actually going to give this probably to my sister um, or someone who's combination of oily. So I'm going to declutter this one. Now I cannot find my Pro Matte. It's somewhere around here, but obviously I am going to keep it. That one's in 110. This is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I love this foundation. It gives me a nice glow and um, not really even a glow. I think I get more so satin, but I do get a great finish. So I am going to keep this one. I'm going to actually put it right there. This I just recently tested from the drugstore. I love this foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is in Desert Beige. I really do like this foundation a lot and I'm going to keep that one. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is in the shade number 09 Tan. I really do enjoy this. I uh, I think I did a dupes video of this and the Clinique, and it is a good dupe, so I'm going to keep that. This is the Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. I did do a dupes video. I will link it in. Any of these that are dupes to high end, I will but I really do enjoy this foundation as well. And yeah, um, I'm gonna keep this one. This one I have not, um, I have not reviewed on my channel, but this is the Clean Finish Matte Foundation. It's a poreless, uh, it's a poreless one and it controls oils. It's a mineral actually foundation. And I love the fact that it also 
is I, I'm surprised that I actually found a Rimmel shade that works for me. So I am going to review this. I really do like this and I did, I wanted to make sure that I could actually uh, give a place where you guys can get it. And this is, you can get this at walmart.com. It's in the shade natural beige. And so, yeah, I really did like this in foundation, but I'm going to, I want you guys to see it on the skin. So I'm going to keep this one. Now I really do, I have a wipe. I really do love my matte and poreless, but this shade is too dark and I usually have to mix it. Um, this is in the shade 330 caramel, toffee caramel, and it's a bit dark for me. So um, they did come out with some shades that were lighter. And um, I think I'm gonna give this to my sister because it's a bit dark. And I know that there is a shade that's for me so I'm actually gonna declutter this one this is the Mary Kay luminous wear foundation I really did enjoy this I think I showed you guys in a get ready with me how this looked and so I'm going to keep this one I am in the shade bronze one now this is dark but I actually have the 402 so I am gonna keep this one because I don't have another one of the luminous this is the Smashbox BB Water. I've talked about this in my February favorites. This is in the shade Medium. I'm actually going to keep this because I do have a dupe for that. This is the Becca Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation. This is in the shade Cafe. This is a good shade for me. I actually tried it on before I the video. And this is how it looks swatched. Um, I don't think I showed you guys on camera. That is one of the ones I do want to use up this year. So, yeah. By the way, I am in high end by now. <laughs> Just to let you guys know. Okay, I'm going to show you one that I am going to declutter. This is the Born This Way Foundation. This is in the shade Sand. This is my winter shade. It's a little bit light. Um, I'm not going to keep it because I think I can find a good home for it and... Um, I have another shade right over here, which is this one that's new that I actually want to break open, but this I've had, um, but it's still good. I did smell it and it's fine. So I am going to declutter that one. This is the NARS Radiant All Day Luminous, and this is in Sarah Sy in the shade Syracuse. I do enjoy this. However, I love my sheer glow. I did, uh, use that one up. I do plan on using this one up and just sticking with the sheer glow, but I do enjoy this foundation. I am going to use this in the summer months because it is very lightweight and um, it does control oil. And I do get a bit of oil in my T-zone during the summer. So this is one I haven't tried on camera and this is actually new. This is the Dior Skin Star Tint Studio Lumiere Spectacular Perfection foundation and I am in the shade 040 and um, I actually swatched this at uh, face watch and um, hand swatched this at Sephora and I got this with my $25 off gift card and the that they give the gift the Sephora gift every year so I am going to end up trying this one and let you guys see it on camera but yeah I'm going to actually keep that one. This is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I am in the shade nine, number nine. And this, I did recently try the fabric foundation. I'm going to come back with my review. But this one, I'm definitely going to keep. I really do like the finish on that one. This is another one that I haven't um, showed you on camera. This is the Juice, Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Flawless Serum Foundation. I am in the shade Tawny. And this one, Medium Tawny. And yeah, so I'm going to keep this one, especially so you guys can see how it looks. I have not done this one either. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I'm in the shade number nine dark. And yeah, I'm going to come and with a review on this one. I do have quite a few foundations. I love um, foundation reviews. This is the Makeup Forever HD. I need to use this one up. I do have an Ultra HD. So, um, speaking of that, I do have an Ultra HD of this. This is in the shade 153. 
which I think is Y405 or Y55. But I am going to keep this. I really do like the finish of this one. So I am going to actually put this in my makeup bag to use up. Okay, this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Of course, I'm keeping this. I absolutely love this. This is the studio. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the shade sand in this, by the way. This is the MAC Studio Waterweight Foundation. I can't remember. I don't think that I've done a review on this, but I definitely need to. Um, I'm in the shade NC42 in this, and I can wear this right now. It's going to be a little bit too uh, light for me, maybe in the summer months as I tan, but I do have something to make uh, foundations a little bit darker. That's why I'm decluttering, because I did find something that I can warm up my foundations with. So, yeah. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous. This is in the shade medium. Um, and I have not done this one on camera, but I definitely need to do this. I absolutely love this one. This was a very hydrating, so I'm gonna keep that. This is a, this is the Luminizing Moisture Tint by Jouer. I love this. I love mixing this. It's a bit light because I should have gotten a darker shade. It's in the shade Bronzed, but I love using this because it has a radiant luminous. And I love mixing this with any of the other foundations. The, the sheer glow, it gives it a great, a beautiful finish with that. So I really do love this. And it has SPF 20. I do need to use this up because Otherwise, it becomes inactive, the SPF. And also, I have the, this is the Urban Decay One and Done Hybrid uh, Complexion Perfector. It has SPF 20. I want to hurry up and use this because I don't want it to become inactive. And this is, um, yeah, I really do love these. These are more of my, like, my tinted moisturizers, like BB creams. Although, this one gives me coverage like a foundation. So, love that one. This is what I'm actually going, going to declutter. This is the uh, Eve Pearl High Definition Liquid Foundation. I do enjoy this one, but not as much as I do the others. And I do have a review on it. It's a bit old. It's an older foundation uh, review, but I will link that in the playlist. But this is in the shade Tan. I do like it, but I believe that I can find a home before it gets old because I have other ones that I love. So these are my Makeup Forever face and body. As you can tell, I use these. I love these. Now the shades, I'm not too sure on because these are a bit different and they have rubbed off. But I also have the water blend over there that I'm actually going to keep. But these are two shades that I love mixing. It's super duper light. And when I want to thin out a foundation, I use these. I love, oh my goodness, I love, love, love these. I love using that with the custom cover drops by FX and cover FX. And so, yeah, these are the water blend. This is in the shade R430. This is in Y405 and this is in Y415. So these shades I'm actually going to keep. I really do enjoy these and yeah. So I know that I only decluttered five foundations, which were these, but I feel like uh, some of these I'd still have to review. If I don't absolutely love them, they will be going. So um, I'm actually going to pull out this one for my makeup bag for high end. And I'm actually going to use this one, uh, the Urban Decay. And I think I'm going to um, use, let's see, something that I haven't used in a while. I'm going to use these during the summer. Uh, something I want to use up. I probably, let's put the Infallible Pro Glow for like every day as well in there. I like to like rotate for foundations or whatever. And this Mary Kay. The Mary Kay is in the summer, so no. Let's use something else. I like to use two drugstore to We'll use this one. 
So yeah, these are for my makeup bag, uh, my bi-weekly beat. I'm, I like two foundations, drugstore two foundations high end. But this is my makeup, uh, this is my foundation. And I'm decluttering these five over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see beautiful you in the next video.